Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialist in SharePoint. And in this video, we are going to see how we can create a site collection in SharePoint online. So we will see both classic and modern sites how we can create. So uh, there are different ways that we can uh, create a, a site collection. So you can create from SharePoint online admin center. Uh, we can create using PowerShell and CSAM. Also, we can use SharePoint Server Object Model, and this is for SharePoint on-premises versions like SharePoint 2013, 2016, or 2019. In this particular video, we are going to see how we can work with SharePoint Online Admin Center, how we can create sites from there, uh, from the Online Admin Center, so both classic and modern SharePoint site. As the name suggests, a SharePoint site collection or a site collection is consist of your sites and subsites. In uh, SharePoint uh, on-premises, you need to have a web application created before you create a site collection. But in a SharePoint online, we do not have uh, the concept of web application as a end user or as a developer when we try to create uh, a site collection. So in SharePoint online, we can directly create a site. So even we call that as a site uh, when we uh, when it is on SharePoint online. Now let me open uh, the SharePoint uh, admin center. So I hope uh, you previously you have seen the videos. If you have not seen, I will uh, share uh, the links in the comment section where you can see uh, my previous videos which are on uh, difference between SharePoint online on premises, what is SharePoint and then this kind of videos you can check out as well. Now let me open uh, my site here. So, uh, okay, meanwhile, if you are a developer and if you want to learn SharePoint quickly, then I have SharePoint development training course. You can have a look at it. I'll put this URL in the comment section. Similarly, I have uh, training courses for SharePoint site owner or the power users who manages the SharePoint sites and you can check uh, details uh, on the URL that I'll provide in the comment section. So now meanwhile, I'll open the uh, uh, portal uh, or you can open office.com or you can put admin.microsoft.com. So this will actually open on the SharePoint, sorry, Office 365 or Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So um, from here, you can go to the SharePoint uh, Admin Center or SharePoint Online Admin Center where we can create the site collection. So basically, if you click on uh, so all then down you can see SharePoint so you can click on that and then you will come up with the SharePoint online admin center or you can directly put uh, uh, your tenant name then hyphen admin uh, dot SharePoint dot com which will open the same SharePoint online admin center from where we will now create the site collection so if you'll see here uh, go to the sites and then if you'll see active sites so this is the place where you can see all the sites, uh, both if you have any classic sites or if you have any uh, team site or communication site, any site, you'll be able to see it here. You can see the last one is a classic experience. I'll show you from where we will create that. But you can see here, this is uh, a classic team site and then all these are, this is a communication site and then all these are team sites. So click on this create and then if you'll see here a uh, couple of options are there uh, one is the team site and then communication site so in the team site uh, if you want to create a site for your team members where they can share the documents keep track of events or manage tasks those kind of things within your teams then you can create a team site um, but a communication site will be used by the broad, broader audience. It will be used by your organization. So if you want a, uh, if you want to share something um, rich content to your uh, organization rather to any uh, individual team, then you can go for a, a communication site. For example, let's say your CEO is visiting to your one of your location. You want to highlight that, then you can create a communication site and you can post that in that because that is not specific to team rather that is specific to the organization. So in this case, I will click on uh, a team site and then if you'll see here it is asking us the site name, uh, then the group owner. 
so a team site whenever you will create from here it will actually create a team site which will be connected to an office 365 group i will put a link in this com uh, this uh, video comment box where you can see actually about the office 365 group group what is those things and uh, for example in this case i have a, a, or in my organization let's say there is a hr department or it department or a finance department or, or marketing department and uh, in this uh, cases we can create a site collection for for each individual department so what i'll do here is i will create a site here marketing and then you can see here uh, it is showing me the site is available and it is also showing me the group email address uh, because this is going to be the email address for the office 365 groups and uh, you can see here if you want to change it you can just click on this one edit and you can actually change it but by default it will take uh, the site name and uh, then if you will see here it will show the site address make sure that you should not uh, it will actually remove the space and if you have put any special characters uh, then it will remove those things from here and then i'll put a group owner here so i i have the username so i'll select this username and then if you'll see here select the language so you can select the language from various languages here and uh, then if i'll expand this advanced settings you can see here it is actually showing me two things one thing is a private site uh, where only members can access this site and the other one is a public site where anyone in the organization can access access this site so in this particular case i want this site to be used by the marketing team so i want to make it to private and then you can select the time zone and uh, then you can have a description suppose i will say marketing team site and then click on next so once you click on next it will uh, ask you a couple of more things one thing is the additional owners if you want to add more owners into the site then you can you, know, you can put your owners in uh, uh, in this and then second one is the members to whom you want to give access so those members email address or the name you can put it here and then click on finish so the moment you will uh, click on finish you can see here the site already got created so um the good thing is SharePoint modern experience is that it will take very less time and your site will be ready. So if you we'll click on this now, you can see here our marketing site is ready now. And uh, those who have access to this site, they can uh, see this thing. Now let's see how we can. So this is how we can create uh, on the modern uh, team sites. Now we will see how we can create uh, the classic uh, options or the classic team site. So you can go to the home or you can uh, see here more features. So once you click on more features, you scroll down and then you can see here classic site collection page where actually you will be able to see or you will be able to create the classic SharePoint site. So click on open and then if you will see here, it will come up here and we can create the classic SharePoint site from here. This is the topic, a typical screen which we usually get uh, before before the uh, modern admin center came so i'll click on new and then say private site collection so it will take uh, i'll provide a name here so for example i will say hr classic and i'll put uh, the url here and you can see here i will select team site classic experience and we can pro uh, provide the administrator here so you can see here the administrator and then you can have a resource quota then i'll click on okay so once you click on okay it will take some time compared to your uh, modern sharepoint sites so once the uh, it will take some time and then it usually it say 15 minutes but it, you can see it before that and once it will be created you can see it over here if i'll just refresh the page now it will show in progress something like that uh, you can see here this is in progress so once it will completed you can click on that you can visit to that particular link so i have also created a, a blog post on this so i will share uh, the url in the comment box where you can go through and this is our uh, youtube channel url our website url twitter handles 
and the LinkedIn pages. So I'll suggest you can subscribe to the YouTube channel where you'll get a lot of free videos on SharePoint and other Microsoft related technologies. So you can create a SharePoint online site using PowerShell or CSAM. You refer to the blog post which I will uh, put the, in the comment section. And uh, thank you and have a nice day.